In our video series on analysis, we've been most recently looking into notions from topology. Last video, we talked about compactness. Remember that a point set A is compact if every open cover of A has a finite subcover. Now, there is a closely related notion of sequential compactness, which says that every infinite sequence of points in A has a subsequence converging to a point of A. We have also listed here in our theorem a second condition that A is closed and bounded. In our previous video, we proved that conditions 1 and 2 are equivalent. Here we'll also prove that 1 and 2 are equivalent to condition 3, the condition of sequential compactness. Now, all this is in the setting of the real numbers, or Rn. In more general topological spaces, these conditions are not actually equivalent. Let's proceed with our proof that 2 implies 3. Here we assume that the set A is closed and bounded. We need to prove that A is sequentially compact. Recall what this means. Given any sequence of points, AN, in capital A, we have to show that this sequence has a convergent subsequence in capital A. Since A is bounded, it has a lower bound R and an upper bound S. By the Bolsano Weierstrass theorem, our sequence, AN, has a subsequence converging to a point, little a, in the closed interval RS. We need to show that this point, little a, is actually in the set capital A. Well, the point little a is a limit point of capital A, and the set capital A is closed. So, little a is in capital A. This proves the result in the forward direction. What's left is to prove the converse that condition 3 implies condition 2. So for this, we assume that capital A is sequentially compact. We need to show that the set A is closed and bounded. To prove boundedness, if capital A is unbounded, then we can recursively construct a sequence of points in the set A with absolute values of the terms growing by more than one at each step. By our hypothesis, the sequence of points should have a subsequence converging to a point of the set A. However, it is clear that every subsequence is still unbounded, and this is a contradiction. So, on the contrary, capital A is a bounded set. Now, let's show that capital A is closed. Here we want to show that capital A contains all its limit points. Let AN be a sequence in the set A converging to a limit point, little a. Since the set A is sequentially compact, this sequence has a subsequence converging to a point of the set A. But every subsequence of a convergent sequence must converge to the same point. That point is little a. This means that little a must be in capital A. So, the set A is closed. Case closed.